Hey gang, Louis Jewell is having a 200 subscriber contest. Uh, he wants you to show either a D-list or under first appearance, or a weird book, or a horror book, or anything you want. I have all those covered. He also wants you to subscribe to CAE Media. Uh, I'm going to have his link in the description. I'm going to have Louis Jules' link in the description as well. And congratulations on hitting that 200. So this is Dark Claw number one. Sorry, Dark Claw Adventures number one. This is the first appearance of the robot amalgam of Spiral and Harley Quinn, named Spiral Harley. Why they didn't choose another character to merge her with? Like, you could have had White Quinn. You could have had the Brood Quinn. You could have had Metal Quinn prior. But those are awful as well, so Spiral Harley will have to do. But this isn't even the real Spiral Harley. It's the robot version of her. So if you're a Spiral completionist, pick up this book. For weird books, I've got a ton of weird books, but they're either buried under piles and piles of shit, or I just can't find them. Like, they're, they're within five feet of me, and I have no idea where they are, because they're such teeny tiny little odd formats that I don't even know where they would be. This is uh, Far Lane the Goblin, which lasted, I believe, two issues. Maybe it was longer. I don't know. Maybe it's a web strip. I don't even know. Uh... But I have a little anthology around here somewhere that has a nice Dave Cooper cover, but I, I can't find it because it's the size of an Archie Digest. But I'll just show this Dave Cooper book. Snazzy cover, I guess. For a horror book, I'll show this issue of Taboo. This has a great S. Clay Wilson two-pager which you should never read. I'd show it, but I don't want to be taken down like the comic crypt of Castle Hills. For showing whatever we want, uh, me and the crew, and they've specifically asked that I not include them in my crew, we've been gabbing about uh, trading cards. Uh, Sleepy sank trading cards to Comic Crack, and Comic Crack became obsessed with trading cards. Now he's buying boxes of trading cards, he's sending cards back to Sleepy, and I weasel my way into the conversation by saying, Oh, you know, the collecting instinct started for me with the stick albums. And everyone's like, Shut the fuck up. And I'm like, Hey, my expression, my experience is valid. But anyway, uh, here's some of the sticker albums that I'm blah blah blahing about with these guys. So there's Masters of the Universe. Um, this is actually the only one that I had anyone to trade stickers with because I was bus mates with uh, a kid named Grant. God bless his little soul because he killed himself in grade 9. I still didn't complete it. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? But like the rest of them, either kids didn't care about the uh, the characters or, you know, well, I, I was in a small school with a bunch of farm kids and generally they don't care about anything other than trucks and stuff. So not a whole lot of Thundercats fans. I'm just saying. But uh, also a lot of these I got uh, from, like, packages. So you'd get the album, and then you'd get, you know, four packs of stickers or whatever. And so there's no way to complete it unless you're buying multiple albums. Uh, what else have I got here? Uh, and one more. The official motion picture sticker album. Uh, I've pulled all the posters out of these, so I have no idea where they went. Anywho, uh, 
thank you, Louis Jewell, for holding this contest. Uh, and thanks everyone for watching.